So this week I'm going to be showing you the Black River Village here in Mauritius. I'm going to walk around and show you all the sights and sounds of this amazing village that I drive through every single day and just over there very nice church. This peaceful historic church is called Saint Augustine and prior to Covid attracted big crowds on the weekends. This is pretty amazing this church. This is 1853 which would mean that this is pretty much the oldest church here in Black River and the stonework is absolutely lovely too. I mean look at it. And uh, this whole area, it's surrounded by these amazing trees. So if you're ever in Black River, come and check out this church. We know someone who got married here. It's pretty special inside. I'd love to show you, but um, yeah, it looks like the door's closed today. So this is the third largest district in Mauritius. It's also known as Riviere Noire. And it's also the least populated, which is pretty cool. It's actually why I like it so much as well. It's really the heart and soul of this area. Before I go walking though, I really do think I've got to get this guy up. I've got to show you the surrounds here because it's a stunning morning. say I am loving flying this mini two drone but let's go for that walk so you have an idea as to what it looks like so the road starts over there goes all the way down there bonjour ça va Just across the road from the church is La Belize, the only residential marina in Mauritius. It's over 12 hectares in size and is home to multi-million dollar condos and apartments. Onwards and upwards, let's get on with this walk. Back on the main road and watch out for the speed cam. There are a few of those here. There's some interesting buildings like that one, for example. For many, buses are the main mode of transport, so this route is often quite congested. It's really the heart and soul of this area. There are so many people usually around on the streets, and there are all sorts of different shops as well. And here's a bike shop, but sadly today it seems to be closed. Perhaps a sign of the times. Bonjour, ça va? Your stores. It's so sadly close today. Some art. You can see over there a little Chinese shop where you can get some Chinese food. There's actually a few restaurants. That one too. There are also fruit and veg stalls which sell seasonal fresh produce, all at much lower prices than the big supermarkets. And watch out for the buses. You've got to be so careful here not to get run over. This is Bubby Lotus store. This is an amazing toy shop. This place I have to show you. Bonjour, ça va? Oui. Oui, top. Je peux juste regarder? In here you can find a ton of toys from Playmobil, Lego, board games, you name it. The only problem is there's so much of it that it can be hard to sort through. I like to come in here just to look at the sheer volume of the stuff. But best to leave your wallet at home. Prices are exorbitant. Merci. Bye. I don't know if you've ever been to Mauritius, but virtually every village has a place called a cancellery. And this is like a DIY store. It's a, it's a place where you can buy pretty much anything you need for your house, whether it be tiny screws, hammers, nails, shelves, all sorts of things, gardening bits, you can get it here. So that's a cool shop to look at. 
There's also a little hospital called Yves Quentin and this is a local hospital so it is completely free and I've been there a few times and it's helped me out on those occasions. I'm going to take you now down one of the side streets to the old Black River police station. Oh dear, it looks like I've got here too late. This is a bit of a sad thing because this was the site of the old Black River police station. And it was a beautiful building. Luckily I took some pictures actually just very recently. So I'll show you what it looked like. But it was a real old colonial building. A bit sad to see it's just the remnants of it are these bits of wood and rubble. There is the most incredible building over here that I have to show you. So if you look hard enough around this area, there are all these little buildings like this. And once again, I've forgotten my mosquito repellent. So many more of these, I'm getting killed. Another cool spot is if you wander down one of the streets, you'll get to a little river and also a beach. The beaches are still closed here, so this is actually the closest I can get. It's actually really nice to see these, this different perspective. So it's actually nice to stop and, and really take a look and see what's down these little streets and alleys. And this is pretty spectacular. I mean, look, river here and beach there. Back onto the main road and you'll find small cafes, a fishing shop and a water sports outlet specialising in canoes. This is a personal favourite eatery of mine, Apo Chinese Food, only open for takeaway at the moment. We have a lot of takeaway places, we come at night quite often to get pizzas, pastas, Chinese food. Here's another cancallerie. There are several just along this stretch of road. Pasta Marin has the best pizza and pasta in the area, and let's not forget about the street food too. So that was pretty much Black River Village that I just walked right the way through. This brings us to Rosso Creole, a local shopping centre. You can get some nice sushi here. There's a golf shop, gardening apparel, a bank, electronics, L'Occitane and Nespresso. It's normally bustling with tourists, but sadly not this year. Hopefully all that will change soon. A few businesses have really suffered here. The effects of Covid. But what I want to show you is down here, there are these weird little tunnels. Intriguing, actually. So it'd be interesting to find out what these were used for. Perhaps built by the French? But they're obviously very old. I'd say a couple of hundred years old, easily. It never ceases to amaze me the things you find in Mauritius in the most unexpected places. And yeah, this is just on the Rosso Creole perimeter, so they're, they're pretty interesting. This is cool, this has actually got trees growing in it. Amazing. I just can't get my head around that these structures are right here in this car park. So that was Black River for you, Black River Village, right the way through from Labelize, the church, through the little village and to Rosso Creole Mall. So I hope that gives you an idea of what it's like here in Black River. Well, I think that's a sweet little village. If you enjoy these videos, please give me a like, subscribe if you haven't done so already, and of course, comment, because I love hearing from you. And do let me know what you'd like to see more of on these videos. And I will check you on the next one. Bye.